The human brain, one of our most complex organs, allows us to move, feel, think and learn. Inside the brain, a dynamic network formed by billions of nerve cells processes information via electrical signals. Each neuron receives information from thousands of other neurons via multiple processes, called dendrites, and transmits information via a single axon. At specialized contact sites called synapses, electrical signals trigger the regulated release of neurotransmitters stored in synaptic vesicles. These chemical messengers bind and activate postsynaptic receptors, initiating a new electrical signal in the next cell. But how does a presynaptic cargo, for example, made in the cell body, end up at the right place within the cell? For this, neurons use active transport to sort specific synaptic proteins between the axon and dendrites. The microtubule cytoskeleton is important for this polarized cargo transport since it provides the roads for molecular motors. Microtubules built up from tubulin subunits are dynamic structures with a fast growing and shrinking plus end and a more stable minus end. They have a unique organization in neurons. In the axon, microtubules have a uniform plus end out orientation, whereas in dendrites, their polarity is mixed. Two types of motor protein, kinesins and dynein, transport cargoes along microtubules. Adapter proteins help to couple the correct cargo with the right motor protein. Kinesin and dynein move in opposite directions. Dynein moves towards the minus end, whereas most kinesins move towards the plus end. Therefore, the orientation of the microtubules helps to direct polarized transport. But many more levels of regulation exist to ensure proper sorting of cargoes. Various modifications of microtubules provide additional cues for motor proteins. Kinesins themselves are regulated by autoinhibition to prevent unnecessary activity. Attachment to a cargo or modifications of the motor protein releases autoinhibition and activates the kinesin. Multiple motor proteins can be attached to the same cargo, causing bidirectional movement. Inactivation or loss of a motor protein will cause the opposing motors to take the lead. Finally, reaching the right destination, the cargo is delivered, and in this case, released at the presynapse.